Ladies and gentlemen, it's your Dirty Yellow, and this is season two of Collectively Speaking. Um, I took a little break, but apparently y'all miss me, so I'm back. And this week's song of the week is more of a statement. So y'all take this. If that's your girlfriend, why she at my house? If that's your girl and why my dick in her mouth? You just trying to slaughter her, son. I know y'all miss me. If that's your this girl, is what I've been doing. I've been busy. If that's your girl, then why she get my deal? Mm. Mm. I got that's questions. Girl, that's all it is. I got questions. If that's your girl, then but why yeah. she being all cool? Hey. If that's your girl, then why she drunk in my pool? Okay. So this week, I got my brother, Marcus O. Boston. Hmm. Over here sitting in the cut, he running right. with me. Get Hold them. on, I got you. I got so, you. Let me yeah, let, let me bring it in. Ahead, man. Let me bring it in. So most of y'all know him as the mob. I like to call him the engine oil because he keeps this shit running. But for the others. Come on. It's the podcast, Daddy. Hit them buttons, dog. Make them buttons. One more time. Hi, <laughs> Kaz Eddie, come back. Uh, I'm back. I'm back again, goddamn. There we go. All right, podcast. Yes, 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 yes. Podcast pop. Hey, hey, all them sweet black voices in my life. Hey, because you know, because you know, ain't nothing like a black woman. Bow, bow, bow. Strong, 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 strong the, black hit woman. Hit the round of applause. We gonna uh. For the black women, and for the first time on this podcast, <laughs> I actually have a super dope, a super strong black woman, Miss OMG Portia. Hey y'all! Go ahead, introduce yourself. Tell them, tell them a little bit about yourself. Well, I am Portia, but they call me OMG. Hey y'all! I am a professional dancer, and not the booty clubs dancer but oh you dance dance like kind of like ballet and shit yeah like that like ballet and shit like but nothing a traditional dancer (laughs) yes the one that goes to school and get educated and they do all that hard stuff yeah not Not dog pound on a tuesday right even though i love me a booty club (laughs) ain't nothing like a booty club nothing like a chicken wings and butt cheeks (laughs) you can't beat it period but no i have been dancing since i was about four years old wow that's dope um i might have been on tour with our Kelly you and no, star. I was not kidnapped, so because she's here with us, she's not <laughs> right. <busy>. Exactly, <laughs> um, her mental's together. Street, she's solid. <laughs> Seven Streeter tour. That's dope. Um, I did the um E.I. Nelly Vatera tour. That's cool. Um, yeah, I did a, for the crib. Yeah, a lot of music videos, a lot of magazines. I just just be on my shit. So there. tell us a little bit about being on tour with Seven Streeter and Nelly. Well, I want to start at the top. How we get? Who got you in the dance there for? Is, is dancing in your family background? How or you was just dance? on it? No, my mom. Your mom she was a dancer. Had me like in dance class, cheerleading, uh-huh. and then I went to a visual performing arts middle Central? school and high school. Yep, that's dope. Yeah, Carly. My dad school. actually played. Uh, he used to turn a fan up a fat boy. He was sweat like he stole something. <laughs> I probably did, but um, <laughs> but yeah, my my pops who passed away in uh November. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's kind of why uh, we had our hiatus. Mm-hmm. But um, my pops would come in and play guest spots at, at uh, mm-hmm. Central. He played and an instrument. He played key. He played several instruments, but okay. he played keyboards. His name was LS. Um, was like Anya. Uh, Anya. I think her name was Alicia Williams. Mm-hmm. He would play for her. She went to Central. Um, he was her producer. Mm-hmm. Produced for a bunch of different people. So yeah, yeah. She like, was like a couple grades older than me. Oh, uh, for real? Yeah. Shout out to I Ye, love her. my Yeezy. Yeah, <laughs> you know it. Yeah. She was at the funeral. It's my dog. But um, as far as like, how did you progress into like getting that that notoriety from dancing and performing and being on what you was on? Well, pretty much like like us again. I went to school for dancing. If you don't, if you don't get close to that microphone, I'm sorry. You're I'm talking sorry. Talking about some pre-production. That's, that microphone is your friend. Don't be scared. I'm sorry. I'll be chilling. Like, Microphone, you're my friend. You can take it with you. You can pull it out the stand. You can pull it out and you can do it however you want it. (laughs) But then I gotta hold it. Okay, you can't have both ways. You need pause. (laughs) Okay, I got it. I would just talk like this. But no, like I literally like to be honest, like I've always been like into dancing, but I also was like in the band. I was what instruments you play? The clarinet and the bass clarinet. 
<laughs> but no, but then after that, um, I was in videography, like, so I did like photography for a minute, but I always stuck with dancing. But I think right, like around like 16, 15 or 16, that's when I started like doing like shows and stuff like that. <clears throat> But then, like, everybody just knew me, like, as the dancer, and I just grew, you know, popularity from that. And then as I got older, um, I started getting booked for, like, music videos and stuff like that. And then people knew me, like, as a dancer in St. Louis, so, like, if they needed me to do something, they'll just hit me up. And then I just do my thing. That's super dope. <laughs> like, it's it's St. Louis is a hard enough place for you to get seen for anything. Yeah, definitely. Especially without a motherfucker hating on you. Because, yeah. like... I've been around like the St. Louis entertainment scene for mm-hmm. most of my life. I slept on the couch in Saints while my dad was producing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mm-hmm. was in this. I was in that. I was at Four Seasons and I hung out with Brad. Brad, mm-hmm. my guy brother. Fucking little St. Louis, my partner. So I'm yeah. always at studio. That's one of my favorite rappers. It's my favorite rapper personally from the city. Uh, shout out to bro. He getting better. No, for real. For That's everybody. Good. Like he's getting a lot better. He's. Talking better. He actually mm-hmm. had a show on 314 Day for the first Aww. time. So shout out to Lil St. Louis. Get better, bro. We waiting on you. Um, but to be around and to understand that there's a lot of people out this motherfucker that get hated on from mm-hmm. the gate. And for yeah. me to be in circles and never hear a bad word about you, mm-hmm. that means your character's intact. Yeah. That means a nigga can't sit here and say you did X, Y, and Z. Motherfucking Period. females can't sit here and, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. downgrade your talent because of this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So to hear that is, first of all, we're going to make some, make some noise for that. We're going to make some noise for that. No, for real, because it's hard. It is. It it's is hard. hard. Especially for a female because I've been in the studios and I've seen like, Mm-hmm. I've seen you get past motherfuckers Man, get passed, passed around, around from <laughs> the real? engineer to the yes to yeah. the artist to the bus boy to the runner to, to the go get the bus at up. the store. You know what yeah, I'm like you get passed around everybody. Like so, no, <laughs> to know that a motherfucker did it off their talent and they talent alone like this. That's 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 commendable. Mm-hmm. That's that's honorable, and you don't have a lot of honor today. Yeah, in, thank you. In, especially in the entertainment industry. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. I, Thank you. It's all love. Thank you. We salute our black women, and you are actually the first black woman on my show. Really? So what you been having on the show? Um, she came for you with that one, didn't she? I've had... She questioned you, light skin. She said, what your light skin has been having down here? So, right. <laughs> what you been having? Let me flex my muscle real quick. Okay. So I've had a Missouri State Congress representative on here. Oh, wow. Yeah, where okay. we talked about marijuana initiatives, mm-hmm. um, getting equality in the system for Missouri all kind of cool shit. Shout out to Chip. Um, re-election coming up. Yank sure y'all go vote for Wiley. Um, I've had the owner of Contraband Athletics. I've had... Fuck. I've Bunch had... Bumble Bars. Oh, yeah. I had Bumble Bars on here. Mm-hmm. Um, I got two dope fe- black females coming in a few weeks. That's awesome. Um, I don't know if y'all heard of them, but Rooted Buds, they own 18 North Venue. Okay. That's so awesome. So it's a... It's like a concert venue. It's not a concert venue. It's a uh, yeah. Be I'm comfortable. Yeah. I'm a nigga that's probably sweating. Yeah, I'm fat, bro. You got it. You need a fan. I'm good. I got. I got. He, I gave mine. I gave his yeah. own fan. I'm, oh, okay. He sweating, yeah. wiping the shit. He wear headbands. I'm looking <laughs> Get your headband on, Ninja Turtle. First and foremost. But you got the head, baby. First and foremost, Shit. it's all right. I'm getting reacclimated. <laughs> I'm one of those people that keep my house and my car on 68 at all times. Nah, Dang, I'm, so that's cold. I, it's I'm, not cold. That's I'm perfect. I'm used to having the thermostat. I can touch my shit off. I can touch this motherfucker high. Hello. <laughs> yeah. I'll be at home tripping. I can do the fuck. <laughs> Who here? Nobody. Shout out to Marcus. Let's make some noise. Marcus, you got a new house. Hey, hey, Congratulations, man. Shout out to my Marcus. Dog. Thank you. Thank that you. is awesome. Thank you. I Fuck wish yeah. I had a house. We celebrate everything because we work hard for everything. I realize mm-hmm. that I'm lonely. I said, damn. It's oh, quiet. It's he quiet stays here. seven minutes away and he can come over anytime he wants. He can <laughs> shut the fuck no, up. No, he's not talking about that time. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about is I have a lot of time to myself more than I'm used to. I'm used to mm-hmm. around, used to around. I'm a people, you know I'm a people person. This is true. Mm-hmm. This is true. And hey, I go to work. I'm with myself. Then I'm at home with myself. Then I got this fake sugar on my phone. This ain't real sugar. <laughs> you got a cat? That's some bullshit. I'm not buying no animals. <laughs> 
Oh, why? I don't want no responsibilities. I don't have no children. <laughs> he don't got no I children barely, either. I barely want to buy this house. So I was like, right, now I got to pay this shit on time. Damn. Right. Well, that's I good, cut, I got to cut my own grass. Yeah. Right. That's pay good. This. You don't got, I come do it, but you going to pay me. <laughs> no, I got my own lawnmower. Do you got bushes? New. Yeah, I got a couple of rose bushes on the front. So y'all. you got that big old look. Thing that you I'm cut not, the bushes. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not doing none of that. <laughs> so coming up in St. Louis, I pay niggas for that. When you were in high school, how how did how did all of this transfer into what you're doing now and the tours? Like, what were some of the things you stumbled with as far as well, dancing and entertainment? Well, what I did was I started making YouTube videos. For real? Yeah. So we got to make sure we follow that. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a lot of followers, but... We going to make sure we get that up. But a lot of people, like, how I got one tour was because I did a YouTube video and that choreographer seen me do a video and they're like, they reached out to the person who shot the video and was like, hey, can you get in touch with this girl? And then... I did this one, like, it was so funny. I wanted to do this one like sexy video for like World Star or whatever. Right. But they were like, it was like sexy, but it was too like reserved, I guess. I don't know. And I'm like, dude, my shit dope. You, like, you can't, it's it's hard yeah. to compete when you got clothes on. Exactly. And I, <laughs> like, dude, like, I was literally killing it in my fucking video. Oh, we know. We see the videos. But they like, these hoes, is, I guess they was too busy popping ass and coochie. So they like, nah, like, it's cute The word nah. coochie is underrated. <laughs> I love the word coochie. I'm, I'm bringing it back. Coochie needs to coochie, come back. Like... I'm on all coochie my house. Over 30 years old. I'm coochie, man. <laughs> this is my coochie dance. Yeah. Coochie corner. The Call coochie corner. <laughs> this, this some coochie juice. That's what they say. This some coochie juice. Yeah, coochie juice. buddy. Yeah, buddy. It make you feel like but, it's just warm in the wrong but way. Yeah, it's um, it's commendable because, like I said, having like, is it harder to compete when you got talent as opposed to ass naked on the internet? No, because at the end of the day, like I just be myself. Right. This I. I don't, I mean, of course, like, we, it's always some type of, like, like, friendly competition, but it's not like, I'm never going to hate on the next person, like, well, oh my God, why they're doing that? I need to do that to upstage her or upstage him. Like, it's not, like, I stay in my own lane. I do what I want to do. So it's like. I don't look at it like, oh, well, I'm competing for this spot because we all can win. It's enough money for everybody. That's what I be trying it's to tell them. And that's money. why I did the we show. We literally, in U.S., we print our own money. Like, we can, it's enough money for everybody. If they every, print it, I'm going to get it. Like, come on. Yeah. We got, it's enough for everybody to go around. So why would I try to step on somebody else's toes or like, look at you as competition because you doing something similar to what I'm doing? No, because can't nobody do OMG like OMG do OMG. Like... <laughs> It's that's a fact. Words for your ass. It's a fact. Can't nobody do me like me. Mm-hmm. And that's a fact. So what's your favorite style of dance? <sighs> my favorite style of dance is hip hop and contemporary. Okay. Like those are my two favorite. Like I love hip hop because it's It's the culture. Yeah. And it's just I'm naturally like I'm a natural dancer. Like it's not like I was taught this, even though I was I was I saw one school. of your three on four day dances <laughs> a couple years ago. That motherfucker went off. <laughs> Like I literally know how to dance, like. But hip hop is like I love it. That's my favorite. But contemporary is like, it's it's a feeling. It's like an emotion. Like if I want right. to like just let loose, it's like it's no right or wrong way to do contemporary. So it's like I love contemporary when I'm more like in my head. But hip hop definitely heel dancing. Like I love What's heel, heel dancing. Da- like where you just oh. dancing heels. Like it, whether it's sexy, whether it's hip hop, whether it's I've been seen you five or six times outside. And you always got on some fucking heels. <laughs> I, got I don't know how now. tall you are. <laughs> I'm about like five, four, five, five. <laughs> what is this? What's this thing called again? Like heel dancing, like hmm. when you take class. Like he gonna be busy later. <laughs> Wait, yeah, be you can check heel my Instagram. Dancing. Just go to my Instagram. You I want to keep respect between. Hold on, drop your Instagram yeah. real quick. We're gonna yes. drop it a couple more times. We're gonna drop it right now. Um, follow me on Instagram. Omg Porsche. Lol. For sure, for sure. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all go follow the homies. Um, now I gotta ask: working with R. Kelly, what was that like? Um, it was fun. Did you notice like any weirdness? I personally feel like because he is who he is. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say it's blown out of proportion mm-hmm. because we gonna be real about some shit. Mm-hmm. A lot of these niggas is picking up little girls from school mm-hmm. at two fifteen. Y'all pulling up outside of these schools. Mm-hmm. And you 21, 22, mm-hmm. picking up a 16, 17 year old. That is true. So it's the same thing. 
Y'all sitting here talking about some man or Kelly wrong or Kelly this. And I do not in any way condone the shit that he doing because yeah. I got a daughter. And I definitely don't. But a lot of y'all niggas over-sexualize these little girls mm-hmm. and then turn around and talk about Kells. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. when I was um, when I was working with with him, it was, I had like the best time of my life. Like Elaborate. Like, I literally like, well, the, I, to be honest, the only thing that I really loved about the tour was just being on stage. Like, in front of that many people. Man, when I say the crowd, Did it like, make you nervous? <sighs> Like, the shit was so crazy. It was, like, amazing. Like, them lights, the bass on the music. Like, the right. shit was crazy. But I met so many people, like, that I, like, still talk to to this day. And even with the Rob situation, even with him, like, I could see why them women, because I didn't see any underage girls. Not saying he didn't do the shit, but... It was some women there. Yeah, from 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 your standpoint, yeah. you can only speak on what it's, you saw. Exactly, I can only speak on what I saw, and it's just like looking looking back at it. It's like you could tell motherfuckers had like a team hiding shit. Like you could tell, but I didn't know until I saw that docu series. But when you like in the situation, you not noticing. It's like, for example, we were told like. You can't talk to anybody. And I'm thinking like So were there NDAs involved? Um shit, to be honest, I don't even remember. Probably. I But you But said, when you were like, was some shit too clean? Like if this shit's too clean, something's wrong. Like this shit is too well was, manicured, yeah. too well militarized, too like like the point you can't talk to nobody. The fuck with a bunch of people. I, exactly. I got serious way for my turn. And you that's up. what I'm saying. I'm like, what you mean I can't talk to nobody? Like, as in dating, they're like, no, you just can't talk to anybody. And I'm thinking like, shit, I'm grown as a motherfucker. I'm finna talk to everybody <laughs> up in this motherfucker. And y'all ain't finna tell me shit. Because your then, network is your and network. And that's exactly what I did. Because it's like, you touch elbows with so many people. So it's like, you can tell the next bitch don't say nothing. But I'm finna be friends with everybody I'm in from here. St. Louis. Period. I'm literally, I was literally friends with everybody. Even down to the bounces. They like, man, OMG, you know you can't. T-. I'm like, man, what? Why you looking so mean? What's wrong? What's wrong today? Like, I literally... Them Chicago niggas. Man, I, I wanted to make, like, everybody just feel good. So it's like, they'll be like, Portia, you don't give a fuck. Like, you that is say definitely what's your on aura. your mind. Like, That's definitely and your And I had so much and fun. I know <laughs> somebody's gonna t- <laughs> But it was so much fun. Like, I literally probably got drunk damn near every day. Like... I think this I had a bottle soul, like on my little bunk. <laughs> I literally I, had a bottle lined up on my whole little bunk on my tour bus, like the little cubicle we got. I think it was like a bottle around my bed because I was always lit kicking it. Like, I had a good what was your favorite? What, what's your top three cities on tour? <sighs> okay, um, Atlanta, of course. Shout out to Black Hollywood. Yeah, Atlanta was crazy. Um, Chicago definitely crazy because you know that's his home city. Yeah, St. Louis turned out too. Like they turned out, but I say my my last one Cincinnati. I love the Natty five one three. They stand say up. nasty Natty. The natty. <laughs> My best friend, from, one of my best friends from the Natty. So I'm, I'm out Man. there. You ever been to the Taste of Cincinnati? No. It's like the Taste of St. I'm Louis. Flirt. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look here. <laughs> but Cincinnati is dope. Like they, it, it's different. Mm-hmm. It's like St. Louis, but a little bit slower. It is, and the bitches is that, a little bit dirtier. <laughs> they is. They were throwing panties on the stage. I'm like, what is going on? What's what's that green stuff in there? <laughs> No, nah, but that I kicked it. Like I it was like it was times where like shit was like payments was kinda late a little bit. And <laughs> and I kinda like went on strike low key. I'm like, I ain't going nowhere to my money payments straight. until my money is together. But <laughs> My money, <laughs> but nah, it was. I had a good experience, like, but looking back, I could see how a lot of shit got passed. I did see, like, the hint, like, like with the women, like, some of the girls, like, we'll I speak to them, and they wouldn't, like, they always had their head down, they wouldn't want to speak. And I'm just like, at damn, you like, eyes and... why the fuck they acting like that towards us? Like, we the dancers, like, why you right. acting all bougie? But then looking back at the series, it's like, oh, because you couldn't talk to us, or because you were being abused, and because it's, all it's, it is. Because it, when it comes down to it, that shit is pretty much pimping 
without selling pussy. Yeah. Because that's what it comes down to. That's mind control. That's yeah. all pimping is. And to be honest, and I to look, look... a look another man in the eyes, a look another person in the eyes, or to even speak when dealing with pimping, I is just out of, it's called like, out of pocket. And you never want to be out of pocket. I think that is... I feel like them women were like in love with that man. You know who to pick. We yeah. Know, we know the one we can pull shit over. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what I'm about to say. Like, he is like it's just like a regular dude like that knows that he can get over on a woman who can play mind games with her it's just the fact that he's famous and got money so, so of course it's even a more manipulative game than motherfuckers playing on these women whether they young or older cause it's been times where I done seen bitches that's 45 getting played by a nigga now like so it, yeah. it doesn't matter your age yeah. it's just your mental and how you finna like come out of this situation but nine times out of ten you're gonna pick a girl that's 17, 18, 19 who really don't know herself can barely yeah. wash her ass to fucking manipulate so yeah, it's like that a, grooming shit is real exactly exactly so can I ask you does does being OMG Porsche like affect you having relationships did being on tour affect like <laughs> relationships how do you approach relationships with males being that you've been around high power males males mm-hmm. with you know what I'm saying that, that stature that um, relationships. I mean, it just depends on the person mindset. Um, there are a lot of insecure people that I've dealt with, especially so, the, the niggas yeah. that, with the diamonds and the shining and all of that mm-hmm. shit. I've noticed like yeah. the niggas get nervous around me when we go in places mm-hmm. because I'm comfortable with me. Yeah, I don't have to do this. I don't have to mm-hmm. do that. I don't have to buy this. I don't have to buy that. Exactly. But a nigga who has all of those things still if, not happy. If he if I can walk in a room and he can feel my presence without mm-hmm. me speaking. He gonna grab his girl a little bit closer. Yeah, he gonna, man, mm-hmm. nigga grabbing girls is hilarious. That's like my guy, bro. <laughs> and I'm sure you've seen. I ain't never yeah. grabbed nothing. I didn't you know want to grab. But I, who, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't even see nobody else when we go out. Like it's just me and my who, who I'm with. Exactly. Right. We got a great time. You I don't see you niggas. Mm-hmm. All you hoes. I know you see me because you can't miss me. But I don't see y'all. <laughs> When I walk in somewhere, nine times out of ten, motherfuckers don't walk up to me. Now, now mm. I'm gonna get it because you grabbed it. Now I'm on her, I'm on her ass. Now. <laughs> so I, don't play, I don't play games like that. I'm not gonna play no I'm games like that. Yeah, I see you gonna grab her. Yeah, you see a nigga walk up and and because but, you can feel nobody my won't, confidence. Nobody want her but you. I promise no. that, bro. Exactly. You can feel Calm my down, you my can guy. feel my presence. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, Just like females, I'm sure they can feel your presence yes, when you walk definitely. in somewhere, and it turns into. Looks, yeah, and it turns into, heavy in this room. Shit, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is, but it's like with me, like with dating and being like who I am, like as an individual, like most people don't know, like I'm super chill, I'm super humble, so you can it's, feel it though. yeah, like I'm super chill, but a lot of people they think like that I'm something else, or they think like, oh, she must be stuck up, she must be bougie, like she must be a bitch, like. No, it's none of that. I so, am all those things, yeah. <laughs> so sometimes no when, when people go into like a situation or they try to approach me, some guys can be like, they want to try to put their best foot forward. But sometimes I call bullshit. I, I can read people. You can notice the noise. Yeah. I, I read people. I, I feel energies. I'm good with like sensing your aura. So it's like, I can tell when a motherfucker playing with me. So that's why it's so easy for me to be like, yeah, I'm not finna fuck with. Like, I'll flirt with you all day. Like, don't get me wrong, because that's just my Dead personality. Homies. And you know, I don't even do yeah. it on purpose. I don't. I just, I'm just naturally flirtatious. But I know, like, I'm not finna fuck with you. Yeah. But when I do get in a relationship, it's like, it that, gotta be no, a level that. of trust. But you know, like, first of all, I'm a Leo. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, and God. We, wait, wait. August or, August or July? I'm August. Right, August no. 14th. But, but she borderline Virgo. Shit, no, the hell I'm not. Well, you got she, us well, messed minute. up. A I'm a Virgo. Hell so no. Nah. <laughs> no. I'm a Virgo, so I'm I'm calm, I'm cool, and collected like, mm, and pay attention mm, to everything. Y'all crazy. What? E- explain. I don't understand what all the... the, the With Leos, we so loyal. So you don't got to worry about nothing. Okay, of course, everybody's nuts. No. Name somebody who's not nuts. Uh, no, Marcus you motherfuckers is Chippendale. Marcus Lost is not nuts. <laughs> you motherfuckers is the, the squirrel exhibit at the zoo nuts. That, that Whatever. Shit ain't... I will say, I will say, my favorite people are Lee, August Leos. Thank you. Byron's August Leo. His, his birth August 12th. Thank um, you. Child Keith is August, like maybe 7th or 5th. Like... <laughs> August Leos are the shit. 
Yeah, yeah, they they pretty good. July Leo, my daughter, no, my daughter is a July Leo, but Aww. she like right on the cusp. She July twenty third, so it's Aww, okay. Uh, but she's still a Leo, so she a cub. Yeah, she 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 a part them. of the posse. She wanted them, but she got her daddy. She got her daddy like <laughs> personality. Virgo is nism. Yeah, all of that. <laughs> Marcus Meadows. She walk up to Marcus. Marcus six foot seventeen and a half, <laughs> and she just walk up to him like that's her partner. Aww. Wait, How old is she? I'm not good. She'll be hello. ten in June in July. That's what's up. Yeah, and she. I ain't never missed a day of my daughter' life. Ever. Is that your your only baby? No, no, no. Aww. But that's my my daughter, my mm-hmm. only girl. But oh. um, so let me ask you with that, what does your ideal male partner from looks to personality? Are you single to, now? What is your current status? We have these mystical questions. We need to we, y'all can ask me whatever, but I am seeing somebody. Okay, okay. yeah. So, so yeah, but y'all can ask me whatever. She's available, you dirty bastards. <laughs> dirty nigga. <laughs> Stay <at> her DMs. <laughs> they gonna come headaches. regardless. Yeah, I'm sure. Do <laughs> <our> <laughs> niggas do not care, bro. <laughs> so, so I feel you. Like your girl, they don't. your girl can post on her wedding day. It's still gonna be a nigga. <laughs> that that in her DM. It should have been me. <laughs> I should have been walking down that aisle with you. <laughs> the biggest mistake I ever made was letting you walk out my life. <laughs> it is gonna always be some guy, like, but no, uh, you can ask me whatever. Okay, so what does the ideal male partner? Have to have mentally, physically, financially. Mm-hmm. Well, so we can get these niggas a guideline because she taking. This ain't coochie corner. Hold on, you know, you don't know what come with, <laughs> with, with, with corner. coochie corner. Coochie corner. Coochie, coochie corner. corner. <laughs> coochie corner. Well, to be honest, I used to go for looks, but now it's just like we're not gonna play that looks, game. Like looks don't matter. No, they do. You we're have to be. You have to be put together. I'm saying, like, I'm saying, I used to be so into looks. Like a nigga had to be brown skin with dreads and oh, had to be skinny. Shit. He had to have two tattoos on each arm. Like it was oh, that precise. Oh, yeah. It was she bad. Was, she wasted. Some it was. Years, you bad. know that song. I come in the club shaking my dreads. All the dudes used to be banging. I used Absolutely. to love that That's shit. Like, I was actually in high school with that. <laughs> Can we? Crunk music does not get enough. Oh. Do you remember during the crunk music era, a nigga throw your hood up and a nigga get his ass whooped from one throw side of the side to the no other? No ass. Crunk music was a hell of a time. No, for real. And you and come we used right to beat back everybody next week. ass. Yeah. For another round. Yeah, I'm from U City, so you already know. <laughs> no, like niggas had to have dreads and all that, but now, like, I look at a person, I look at a person how they treat me. Um, I don't like people that use, um, like raise their voice as a, a way to get across. So well, you have to be able to like have a conversation. And if it's something that we disagree on, we can, we should be able to basically have a, a, a talk without feel, motherfuckers going back and forth and name calling. I don't like name calling. Yeah, you, I'm not going to do, we, you can't you shouldn't do, have that. To do that. You shouldn't. But for the most part, I, I did that when I was younger, but. The man I am today, I'm not going to argue with nobody I can't mm-hmm. fight physically. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if I can't hit you. You're doing so well. <laughs> right. If I can't, that so, well. Like, so what I'm saying is if something <clears throat> is coming between me and my partner, my person. So you don't what, argue with your girl? No, I, I'm not going to do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, I don't think we can come to. I might have a conversation with you for a few minutes, but after that, I'm going to tell you nothing good is going to come of this right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go this way, you go that way, and we can have a calm, cool conversation about Mm -hmm. the situation, then that's what we can do. But as of right now, this shit not going to go. And I'm alpha enough to understand Mm -hmm. that I don't have to yell. If I whisper, people will lean in to listen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can control the conversation that way. I can read your mind, baby. Like, look, baby, I know you I know upset right now, but if your girl is cussing you out, you it's look, so baby, right. please stop cursing at me. Listen, <laughs> listen, nothing it's good so can come right. of this right now. And females get even madder, <laughs> but they get wet when you know how to be part of the conversation. I know you During the argument. Touch. I know Tell you me why. That is so I funny you because... <laughs> <laughs> because, like, my Tell old... Tell me I'm lying. My old, like, whatever that was... We literally like when motherfuckers used to be yelling at me, and I used to be looking at like, that? <laughs> I'd be like, like just like, come on, let's just go fuck. This. No, you just always trying to. I'm like, cause you, can't you just fuck your way out of everything. Like, I ladies. know, like I swear, like come on, like let's just go do it. Like I'm tired of you yelling at me. Like let's just go do it. You can't, you can't fuck your way out of everything. Ladies. Yeah, you really can't. You Unless can't suck you your got dick. A 
<laughs> if you got a sip, you can do some shit but like that. But nine twenty ten, it works. I mean, I'm not gonna be <laughs> mad with a hard dick. You can't do that. Exactly. Look, what's wrong? What you thinking about? You thinking about a time? This what he do. <laughs> this what he do. I have nothing to add to this. Like I have been to none of that stuff I talk about. Oh, so you never been in like a he toxic no, situation? No, he don't got the toxicity no, I, level. I've been no. I've been. I've been. I knew that shit was stupid all my life. Like I'm not going to argue with you. Like no, I'm going to yeah. bed. Like I, that never was an option for me. From uh, never. I knew it was a bad. I, re- I guess because you're a guy. But what I realized, no, I'm a guy I realized, in my I wasted, I realized I wasted my twenties being like conscious and respectful when mm-hmm. I should have been burning the fucking city down. Up. Yeah, now I'm like, damn. All the, no, I was disgusted. I'm almost in 40, my like, Fuck, I wasted my twenties being a good person. But you're still a good person, so <laughs> it paid re- off. I, but you redeem in your thirties. Like I've gotten better. Oh, you changed. Yeah, I changed. <laughs> I ain't changed. I've been the same conscious right. nigga all my life. Like I, I'm not me. Calm. Not right. me. I ain't got no yeah. gross stories. I, you, I, I used to be, nah, I've been pretty level headed all my life. <laughs> no. Patient, good person. I've been. Nah. My nickname was Disgusting Justin from the time I was 15 until I was probably about That's 25. That's disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no. Why was you disgusting, Justin? Why would you ask that question? <laughs> we could just move right past why. I'm like, no, no, no. Why? <laughs> disgusting Justin was this character where <laughs> I didn't, I don't really, I feel like when it comes to being. Sexual with your partner, there mm-hmm. should be no nose. Oh, okay. So you just yeah. reached all limits. I'm, I'm Pass. my partner, your partner, wow. his partner, her partner. You started, what you started at 12, didn't That's you? That's disgusting. 11. That's wow. why I, I lost my virginity at 11 in my garage. Yeah, you light skin. I see. Yeah, <laughs> light skin tattoos. I was in the Navy. I was right. small as fuck. Disgusting, you, know? you animal. <laughs> what was that? But my, body, <laughs> my body is telling me you're going to get us canceled. Are we going to get canceled? On season one, get, season on two, two, episode one. We can't get canceled. This the first black woman on here. <laughs> uh, He's a fellow Capricorn. Okay, okay, so what I'm going to say is, <laughs> yes, R. Kelly is wrong. And no, I do not stand by his decisions. But if you turn Honey Love on. I'm going to dance. If you turn Honey oh. Love on. And she sang. Well, before we get to that one. No, I don't one. sing. I actually wish I knew how to sing. Mm. Look, you can't not do it. You can't not do it. Y'all doing it at home right now. Right. <laughs> we are going to get in trouble. Body's calling me. Uh-huh. Uh, but you know how many bodies I collected doing, the, doing, doing like tp 2com Man, tp2.com. And then is... I sprinkled in some, some 12 play. Oh, I was killing them. I was killing them. Bro, you just have to stop. We let you gave you so many passes. My what nigga. is this? And I'm a Capricorn. It's Kanye. 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 Take a sip. And I'm I'm a Capricorn, so I'm always on ride for my December Capricorn. Oh, Capricorns. you know it all. See, that's not it. Yes, yes it is. That's, that's, that's not. I don't know nothing. Yes, you are know it all. You I don't, Capricorn. I don't, I don't know enough. I don't. I know it. I know it all. I fight. Oh, they know it all. I fight that part of myself to not be that when? person all the time. I listen all the time. I might not agree, but I listen. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's some stupid shit, I'm gonna listen to all this shit stupid. Oh my god. He definitely gonna tell you it's stupid. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna explain it why, but I'm a Capricorn defender. He just had to stop. <laughs> Your ass sound like an <laughs> Avenger for the Capricorn people. Uh, on December, me, LeBron. <laughs> Uh, it's, a, it's a couple of them uh, December get Capricorn them January Capricorns them niggas is treacherous they make Capricorns you get Capricorns a bad name uh huh I don't think I've ever really dated a Capricorn you know, I know what it can the women January December are just not gonna be good for you mm. I try to date my I said we are not gonna work out man you try to I date love, yourself yeah, the same oh she, yeah it's not like we not even I've mm-hmm. never really gotten aside from yeah I've never really dealt with anybody I've never dealt with a Virgo. I don't think that can work. Mm-mm. I, I keep running. Y'all are Beyonce. <laughs> I'm a grown nigga. You you're not going to call me Beyonce. <laughs> you're Beyonce. Beyonce. You're Beyonce. I gave you, you the fan. You still sweating? A little bit. Man, I'm God damn, I'm wearing some headbands. I'm sorry. That's my big I ass lost, feet. I lost a lot of weight. We I still got fat people. You did? You know what I'm yeah. Well, I was like, I'm a honey love on 12. I'm at like, look what there is looking. Where's honey love? <laughs> Give me that. Oh, that's good. You yeah. wanted to lose weight? Like working yeah. out? So, um, I'm losing weight because I can't feed myself officially. <laughs> last year. So you just bought the house? <laughs> last Dang. year, I, I, so from like, <laughs> my grandfather died in January last year. Oh, I'm sorry. The day after my mother's 20th death anniversary. Mm. So, I went through like this fucking 
great ass breakdown I had mm-hmm. went manic all kind of mm-hmm. shit and I started getting healthier um kind of mentally mm-hmm. physically I started drinking a gallon of water a day walking so you didn't lose weight like, because you were stressed no okay. well that's part of it but like I I had like this breakdown that I just couldn't understand so mm-hmm. <laughs> he trying to have a sentimental like conversation and you gonna put on Honey Love this or my, is that Honey Love? Yes this is Honey Love and this is my number one favorite <laughs> R. Kelly song in the world no you gotta see this dance we did on stage to this song like no you we can't do the dance you gotta see the performance it was lit as fuck we were all dressed up as like um, public Honey announcement Pop. <laughs> public announcement when they did Apollo. Right. So we had like our t boss her cussing the glasses and the oh, dicky outfits on. Like we look like straight niggas. <laughs> public announcement, mad as hell right now. <laughs> 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 he went, he went, he went the blue, he let the blue noses went to motherfucking no, uh, for real. <laughs> Lord Jesus. They like that's what that nigga get. That's why he in jail because he left us in ninety one. You know, you know the haters had a field day. What Man. more do you want from me? <laughs> I don't even know how to talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was just saying random shit in random ass interviews, uh, and it was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey man, as a Capricorn, please don't ever let me get that successful and crazy. I like grown women, so good. Right. I like my women with house clothes and checkbooks and, 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 <laughs> and moon moves. Shout out to the bonnets in the first slippers. I'm not ready for the and bonnets. The I'm not ready for the bonnets. I don't know what a moo moo is. It's bonnets. like the little big ass t shirt that our grandma used to wear walking around oh, the house. Jesus. You know my face. They only t-shirts. work if your titties don't <laughs> sag. <laughs> <laughs> Them only work if your titties don't touch your belly button. <laughs> no, my grandma definitely used to touch That's her belly old. button. Bro. I, don't, I want a new grandma. Looking. I don't want an old. I want Rest a new grandma. grandma. Forty five right, right now. Grandma. That's my spot right there. Forty five. For, uh, fifty one and fit between thirty and fifty one. That's my range. Right oh, there. that's awesome. Right thirty there. and fifty one. You got at least thirty getting in my house. Like that's I'm grown up, grown and sexy in my house. Give me the back in my, my disgusting Justin days. Oh, you had damn. a couple old bitches. Shit. I, so I lived in Virginia. I was in the Navy, and I had bitches co-signing for shit. Mm. <laughs> Grown women. Oh wow, you a, you a bastard! I had one woman's husband show up at my my condo. Mm. He was like, he had just got back from deployment, and he was like, "So can I ask you, young man, how do you know my wife?" <laughs> uh. I was like, like the I, Bible. Just, I sat right. him down. I was Amen. like, "Bro, you don't want to know." <laughs> but, you so you invited him in your house? Yeah, that's he was, stupid. He was. I, I got guns. I'm always had guns, so we not. Yeah, I'm too. a St. Louis nigga. I don't play like that. Yeah, because at first I was real scared. I to keep move. it on me. Period. But, um, In my little bag. I just can't think of what Hey. <laughs> you you said, not me, yeah, my G. I wanna ride it. Something like, like my sound. Look, I'm trying not to suggest this nigga. <laughs> okay, disgusting, Justin. He's like, your wife remind me of my G. You don't want to know. Your wife remind me of my G. <laughs> but look, she co signed for, she was 40 something, and I was 19. Mm. And she co signed for my Land Rover. And she co signed for my condo. Damn. Yeah. You was digging that old lady down. I, I don't know what it is. That's disgusting. 20s, you wasted you did, your twenty. But it's okay because once you get reincarnated, you're gonna come back, back as I'm another person. I'm back birth. now. I'm right. Hey, <laughs> look. I have you no get children. That second I'm almost forty. I have a I career. Have children, right. I have children. I settled home. down, and I am a good person at this point in my you life. You said you settled down. This is yes, coochie corner. Oh, that's <laughs> yes. awesome. No more coochie corner for me. I'm outside. I'm available. So I have multiple rooms in my house. You choose where you want to get this at. This nigga gonna have a sex swing. Coochie corner. He gonna call me next week. Welcome to Coochie Land. Do your coochie dance. Uh, uh, Come on, uh, coochie uh, man. Uh, uh, I'm being a motherfucker playing this. This the coochie cup, the podcast, coochie podcast, yeah, yeah, coochie cast, <laughs> the, the coochie, coochie cast. cast, the coochie corner, the so coochie corner with coochie man, show coochie driving me in crazy. Um, Ain't nobody gonna keep playing with you, dude. <laughs> sorry. This nigga here. Oh, sorry. You ever had one of your partners where you just uh, think all the time, this nigga here? <laughs> always playing, man. That's all he do. And I just met him. Always fucking playing. You should see us when we do live events. Ooh. <laughs> I want to roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Is all I want to do. Pretty lady. <laughs> but if you listen about the sex that's going on about, about you, babe. You remind me of my G. Hey, I want to ride. <laughs> <laughs> this 
nigga. We are going to get canceled tonight. Uh, <laughs> it's it's going to happen. Oh, man. The Me Too movement. The uh, Me Too movement is going to catch uh, this and it's going to be oh, oh God. <laughs> this is my shit. Oh, stop God. Stop doing it. You better stop. Marcus, c- my best cut his girl, laptop my be- off. My best girlfriend for wives. My best girlfriend was always somebody else's wife. For best real? I got time. the best, ev- best advice from women that was cheating with me. <laughs> what, what's that? What's that advice? Tell me more. They always just got great advice. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-mm. you need to pay more attention to your woman. <laughs> Cause that's why I'm fucking you. Like, <laughs> hmm, that, that actually is makes sense, sense Justin. Never stop dating your woman. That's the thing, never like, stop dating your woman. That is true. That's even if you got to do dates inside your house. Because y'all got kids. Y'all can't get like no babysitter. Gotta, mm-hmm. Put the kids to sleep. Fuck up during the commercial yeah, and Lion yeah, King, and then cook some food. Yeah, man. No, you and most of the shit. time we just want attention. Yeah, sit on the couch and watch yeah. Gilmore Girls with her because. They like because if you don't, you gonna be this nigga. (laughs) (laughs) Well, well, well. (laughs) No, you have these niggas have turned my show into the R. Kelly Power Hour. We're sorry. We're sorry. Okay, no more R. Kelly. So I can't promise that. We know. (laughs) We know you went on tour with R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. Who is your favorite person you've been on tour with so far? Um. I would say when I did the Seven Street tour, I had so much fun because she was so fucking loving. Like she she's had, amazing. Like, one song did Chris Brown ever come out? No, and do she did not have one song. Don't she had multiple songs. Like right, fashion. don't do her. I don't know what other she had, but I know she had. <laughs> 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 Pulling all in your jeep. That's all I know. But no, she is an amazing artist, and I think I like that tour because like she was just so humble, and I end up getting sick. Her mom, like, used to bring me tea, like, oh, my God, baby. Aww. Like, I hope you feel better. Like, it was, I don't know. It, it was just, like, even though it wasn't, like, a super big arenas that we was going to, like, it was just made, like, little small, like, places, right. venues. But it was still, like, just all love. Like, she got some super diehard fans, like, that go crazy for her. And oh, it yeah. was amazing. Like, like my favorite rapper is Starlito. Hands oh, down. Okay. So I fuck with Lita. Yeah. And if you ever definitely. get a core fan base, you set yes, for life. Yes, definitely. But no, I just had so much fun on that tour because you know my best friend DJ Shea Money. So she Shea was, Money, yeah, honey. So Shout was, out to Shea Money. Period. So she was um on the tour, and she's the one who actually got me the gig. So it's like just being around like love and like people that support like anything that I do like just want to see me win like it's just always love but I it's hard like- to find those people but when you have mm-hmm. them you lock them in for life definitely definitely what was it like touring with with, with Mr. Haynes talking about the yeah yeah it, he, he it was just he the wasn't even yeah he didn't even do the he didn't even do the um the tour I guess he was too my partner went to school there his name um they call him Shuffles Mm-hmm. And he runs City Boy out of North County, which mm-hmm. is kind of confusing. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, he runs City Boy. Oh, okay. But, like. Because he, cause he's the producer, right? Yeah, of the, he has the his engineer. regular. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shout Big out show. to City Boy. Shout out to Shovel. Shout out to. Uh, <laughs> My homegirl. That's her husband. Uh, uh, uh. The France. <laughs> Who? I think that's the France or some shit like that. The France. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know but, what that means. Um. Yeah, me and Shuffle's been friends since fucking 2003. You know who else did that tour? Doughboy did that tour, too. Yeah, shout out to D-Kind. Yep, D, yeah, um, Doughboy did that tour. So, I happen to know that for a period... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> ...that you were talking to one of my favorite artists in the city. <laughs> and I gotta ask you about it. I have no questions. <laughs> Who that? This is the, this is the nigga segment of the show. <laughs> this is the bullshit segment of the yep, show. <laughs> in the way we go. Um, can we, is there a bomb on your little um? Nah, I don't have pack? a bomb. Boom! That's what we need. A That's bomb. what it was. It was bomb. It was super toxic. No, it was a fucking shit show. <laughs> oh, I, I'm just asking because. Oh, oh God. Okay, what? Because I'm just what? asking. So. What was it like dating? Because I've seen the videos from being on tour with Trey Songs, and, and and when Best Friend was blowing up, Best Friend was fucking everywhere. So was it hard dealing with the females in in the touring and all of that shit? 
<clears throat> um, if if the if it would have been reciprocated, then it wouldn't have been a problem. But you know, like when people are used to a certain lifestyle that like they're still chasing right. that is no longer there, they want to hold on to that that image. And if that's not you anymore, then it's okay to move on. Yeah. So it's, it's okay to have a little bit of this, and then it's okay to it, be a regular yeah, nigga. Exactly, I tell my friends exactly. that shit all the time. It's okay to start from the ground and build yourself back up. It's okay. It's never too late you to do brand that. yourself. Yeah. But you can't keep holding on to the same. Oh, I had this hit record twenty years ago, and right. I'm finna keep running with that. <laughs> I'm just saying. There's the bomb. Found it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yo, dumbass. So with the women, as far as that, like I'm in, I'm secure with myself as a woman. But when you have a partner that can't be honest, yeah, or just like to dibble and dabble and do whatever the fuck they please, then it's hard because and that stops the trust. Like then it becomes like damn, it's like starting to put an insecurity in my head. Like what the fuck am I doing? Like why am I going through this shit? Like. I'm a badass bitch. Like, I know that I'm a a good person. I know anybody would fucking jump in front of a bus to be with me. So why the fuck am I here with this, dealing with this bullshit? You want to run off with the ratchets? Like, no. Right. It's and, too much. And I think... All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I feel like a lot of men get caught up with the image. And then when you lose your girl, you sit back and you go, damn. Looking uh, stupid. Yeah, because it hurts to lose your, your, your real one, your person. Mm-hmm. It's hard to yeah. it's hard to have somebody you you envision your life with and not being able to imagine life without them and then to turn around and they just not there no more because I fucked up. Yeah. And a lot of niggas don't have yeah. the capacity to say yeah. I fucked up. Yeah, but it happens and it's just like at the end of the day motherfuckers got to deal with that. You you just still have to still be a good person. And you you can't let one, one, one pony up. stop the show. Yeah, you got to keep on moving. Whatever the fuck I went through with that shit, it doesn't stop me from loving how I do to this day. Like, and a lot of people let shit change when they go through it that. Do. And you can't. It's, it's just I know to run when I see the red flags in the beginning. When I was with certain people, I would justify like, oh, well, they're just angry right now or they really didn't mean it or I just look past that shit. But it's Let like, me suck titties, baby. <laughs> but it's wow. like, <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. When I'm almost fed up. But when you're literally like the same red flags that you're fucking ignoring in the beginning is the same red flags you're gonna use basically to get rid of. And the flags get bigger and bigger. Yeah, and you're gonna them to be the same reasons why you don't fuck with them no more. So it's like you just I'm gotta move on with your life. It's cool. So how do you not let? let how do you not let myself. those things change you? Because that's. That that's a hard thing to swallow. Like I've gone through it, even as a player from the Himalayas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Disgusting. Like, it's always a treat when the players need. But when you get to that point, not letting because I let shit change me for a while. Mm-hmm. But I had to understand people are here for a moment. Sometimes they're not here for yeah the long term. And and I almost let that shit break me into being full fledged mm-hmm. Mac because my dad being a uh, music producer and really mm-hmm. being a music producer like he worked with Keith Sweat he worked with Frankie Beverly and Mays mm-hmm. he got 10 kids he damn you know what I'm saying like <laughs> I almost let that shit take me over yeah cause it's it's easier to go with the game yeah. instead of trying to be a, a, a real life person to mm-hmm. being um to being a, to, to, to wanting to love you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying like and to not let that shit change you so how do you Stay in that mind frame when it comes to you know what I'm saying, like that. Um, what I relationship just, advice can you get to young girls coming up? I feel like um, love yourself more. Um, that's all you got to do. Um, that's why um, when you when you see like when you go through certain shit, because with women, what we do is we tend to hold on to like the potential of a person. Um, what could be. Yeah. Like we see like what they were in the beginning, but nine times out of 10, I mean, of course it's always good in the beginning. Ain't nobody going to show you, Oh, I'm a narcissistic asshole in the beginning. They're going to be okay. Disgusting. Justin. 
and okay, whatever. Coochie man. <laughs> the coochie man with the coochie house. I'm like, I have a smart ass mouth and I will go to sleep. But it's like, <laughs> but it's something in you that draws women to you to where you're not a complete asshole to where she can't see herself with you. Like you gotta be doing something in the beginning to where women like will fall for you. But it's like at the end of the day, like when you are going through whatever, you have to realize, like, you know what, well, let me pick myself back up. And just move on. You have to be able to love yourself more than than the potential of this man. Or, oh, what could be? Or, oh, I just really want to have a baby by this man. Or, I really want to marry him. Like, no, if shit not working now, get out and dodge. Because to be honest, there's women that's dying out here, like, dealing with these crazy-ass niggas. And they think that shit cute. I lost my mother to domestic violence. So I, yeah, I, I completely like, agree. They, like, they stay in situations thinking that, oh, like... I gotta it's gonna deal work. with this. It's ain't like, nobody, I, ain't nobody gonna love me. I can love him out of this. Yeah, okay. like, no, I'm gonna fix him. I'm gonna change him. And it's and it doesn't work like that. And some women, like, God rest your mom's soul, it's like they, they lose their life. Yeah. yeah. And it's a lot of women like that. So it's like, I just have to look at it like, I do not want to go through this anymore. I'm tired of crying myself to sleep when you land next to a motherfucker. That's not a good feeling when you feel lonely in a relationship. And a motherfucker right next to you. That, and a motherfucker land right next to you and you feel lonely. That's, feeling lonely is the most cold feeling in the world. And for a motherfucker that you expressing like, I love you. Why don't you love me back? You should never beg a motherfucker to treat you how you want to be treated. They should show you that they want to be with you one time. I'm going to treat you right one time. It only takes one time because y'all niggas know. Y'all know what y'all want. Y'all know what y'all looking for. And when you, and if you do do something that your woman don't like, she's going to tell you and what you're going to do. When, if you do want to be with her, you're going to change it. You're going to fix it. You're not going to keep repeating the same shit over and over and over because it's not what men do because we all mess up. It's Men mess up, but what becomes a women problem. Women mess up bigger. Women, everybody but mess often. up. But it's, but when it becomes a pattern, that's a problem because we always gonna forgive you like okay he fucked up okay cool but when it becomes a pattern that's your character my nigga right so it's like no ain't nobody finna deal with that so it's like a bitch not finna oh I left my nigga cause he cheated not to tell you he probably cheated the, for the thousandth time and, and she tired this time. yeah she tired she probably been caught him she just like y'all do do that where you yeah. catch them and just don't say nothing yeah we mm. we either find out we say something to you or we find out just keep collecting evidence then he was a boom Screenshots, boom, videos, boom, Instagram posts. Why is your dick on my phone? <laughs> <laughs> boom, why is this fake page? <laughs> uh, like, it's just a lot, but. Y'all, take a second. Y'all <laughs> chop it up. I got to piss. Come on, is, PV, You man. ain't got to piss. This is my second gallon of water today. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Whatever. Just, what is trying, in that red juice? I'm just sorry. This is apple cranberry. Oh, you fancy. That's also why I'm by myself. I'm lonely and fancy in my home. But why I, are you lonely? So what happened with your last relationship? She told me she loved me. I said, you don't even know my real name. Like, how you are you serious? My, okay, I, I dated white girls for 15 years, okay? You said you who? I dated white girls for 15 years. Oh, Cocaine. Okay. 15, Cocaine? Big bricks. Snowman. Scarface. Oh. I made a choice when I graduated college. I'm going to focus on coming home. I realized there's <laughs> a level of yes. trust and comfort I can't find there. Exactly. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have a language yet. So I went to college and figured it out. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, let me, work, let me work on... I've already got multiple gold medals in the Winter Olympics. Mm-hmm. I'm a Winter Olympics legend. Okay. Let me go try the Summer, summer Olympics. And, <laughs> and, 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 and Get some melanin. Right, and give me some championships <laughs> as well. I'm a, you know, when you're an athlete, you're an athlete. Yes, period. And the road has not been as paved as I thought it would be. Mm-hmm. Um... Uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of nuanced stuff mm-hmm. that I refuse to deal with, and yeah. also like I know my value. Like you, you can't talk to me crazy, exactly, ma'am, with multiple children when I have none. Ooh. I got this. You can't, you can't, you can't. I have a master's. What? Well, you yeah. can't talk to me. Yes. in no way. I don't like. Talk yeah. to Mr. I'm Mister. Talk to me nice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, no, and, and I get it. Be appropriate. I might not have the coins yet, but it's on the way, and I got time. Yeah. It's fine, and it's okay. I know the numbers. <laughs> <I'm> not, <laughs> I'm it's coming. Man. It's coming. You're talking too heavy for me. Mm-hmm. No. You look amazing. You, you deserve everything you feel you deserve. Mm-hmm. But yeah. talk to me as much as I deserve myself yes, as well. Exactly. You no, definitely you story. got to. And I'm glad I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I'm, well, not, I'm not playing with you. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. 
So you've been single for how long? What year is this? Uh, it's 2022. <laughs> 2013 was probably the Damn. last time I had a girlfriend. So the so the last girl told you that she loved you no, in 2013. Fool, you still been no, fucking. no, I had been I had been on, on a, a coochie hiatus. Okay. Um, for the like on accident for like two years, I was supposed to be in the podcast figured out. Okay. So when I got the back network, in, he didn't just do a podcast; he did a whole network. So shout out to my brother. <laughs> I, I am now. Yeah, the, the Coochie Network is coming up. You, 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 the Coochie see, Corner. It's not Coochie. Coonia Corner. It's Coochie Corner now. Rebrand. It's, right. it's Coochie Corner Re- Network. Rebrand. Rebrand. Um, <laughs> yeah, got me drunk on the show. Uh, what was <laughs> I saying? Coochie, Coochie. You were um, you were networking with the Coochies. Oh, yeah, so, I, so when I got back and I got, found this nice young lady on the internet. Mm-hmm. And we was kicking it. And it she was always, Instagram or Facebook? Twitter. The fuck? No, I got on a dating site that's made oh. for dating. I don't date on... I'm not... If I find... I'm not dating nobody on Facebook and Instagram. Oh, my bad, my bad. You fancy. I got so fancy. Was it, he bougie. What was it, Christian Mingle? <sighs> hey, them girls on Christian Mingle do dirty, <laughs> dirty things. <laughs> what was, what was, her, what was her username? Jesus loves us all. <laughs> <laughs> and my coochie. <laughs> Passionate coochie, so am I. I'm sorry, Lord. He knows my personality. Hey, he gave it to he me. He gave me my sister humor. I'm sorry, God. <laughs> my, my name was the Resurrection <laughs> of this dick. <laughs> resurrection three one four. So where did you meet? So you met her on a dating I met site. Her hinge. It okay. Was cool. What she, is Hinge? That hinge. sounds like where you meet a stalker. Hinge, yeah. Hinge is like a boo. Is a, like the bougie online dating site. So like POF is like the ghetto. Yeah. Then I don't like even know what that is. That's, that's like back Tenders page. Like Mid County. Uh, <laughs> On the blade. Uh, what's the other one? Q- okay, Cubans like like maple. What's the other one? Tinder. Tinder's like middle grade because the bitches got got on Tinder swindler like a motherfucker. So <laughs> I heard I heard niggas. Is Tinder's like selling weed <laughs> on Tinder. They like, be selling weed mm-hmm. on Tinder. That's what I heard. Hands is like I got partners West sell County. Weed on Tinder. Hands is like okay. kind of country. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, Cupid is like um. <laughs> That's where you go to Carol. So what is what is POL? POF is fucking the Jenny's. projects. I, I, don't wanna, I don't want to talk bad about uh, my, <laughs> POF is Velvet that Free like in the nineties. That shit is I'm like just playing, it's just killers I'm out sorry there. for the project people. I'm it's just it's like the Blue Myers when we have project buildings. <laughs> the the, the, the <laughs> dun, 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 okay. I went to school uh, in front of the Blue Myers. Okay, that was a motherfucker. Like, you know, Man. I went to Career Academy. That was with Coach Irons ever shine. Like oh, that, that, that era. That's what Damn. POF, that part of don't, Hey, can we talk about St. Louis for a second? Because I got my ass whipped by a bunch of Vashon <laughs> niggas <laughs> going to Curry County one day. Because, you know, back in the day, you used to have to catch the bus. You got the bus. Ah. I'm a real nigga, so I can admit I done took a couple. Damn. But I done gave a bunch. If I, can get you, if I can get one or two of y'all, I can whoop two people. Yeah, but you got But them young. niggas cream me. Damn. Did you, did you fall? I fought back for a second. <laughs> the, I seen, the, but the, the you, you ever, you yeah. ever, you ever known you was finna get jumped, so you just go ahead and take off on the first couple of niggas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I did. Damn. So what was you doing to get jumped by Bashan? So you know, Career Academy opened up. Yeah, right there on Grand uh-huh. and uh, in front of Blue Myers, uh-huh. and them niggas was on Grand and Cass. So they felt like y'all they was, just wanted to fight. Yeah, yeah. they y'all basically niggas. was on, on they set. Oh shit! I'm sorry, yeah, Jesus Christ. Sorry. What we do? Yeah, right. it, was, it was technical issues. Sorry. Yeah, but um, don't scare me like that. <laughs> but yeah, them niggas seen me, and I was all light skin and shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, niggas normally think I can beat the light skin. Yeah, nigga. I'm not yeah. that light skin. G money. Nigga. Yeah, that's true. Because yeah, I'm a fight. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take you with me. <laughs> I'm taking one of y'all with me. Mm-mm. And I'm gonna turn you this way. So when they <laughs> kicking me, you gonna take half of them. <laughs> we gonna I remember they used to pick on our school because they we like used to a, fight about. Yeah, because they thought we were at the day games. school. <laughs> yeah, I remember one time. So we um we were supposed to go to Roosevelt, right? Oh Lord Jesus! For for a dance recital, and so we pulling up. They all in the window like. Y'all better take y'all bitch ass back to. I'm like, oh my gosh, are we about to get beat the fuck up by these ghetto ass fucking people? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> fuck y'all, y'all gay ass. Like they were going in on our Bro, ass. St. But, Louis, St. Louis public schools got it cracking. No, but when we danced, they were like, oh y'all dope as shit. Yeah. Like we like y'all. And y'all still got their ass whooped when they <laughs> no, left. We, didn't. Like, <laughs> we did good. PSL. Like we didn't get our ass whooped. Thank good God. Old St. Louis public. <laughs> The but can you imagine how they treated niggas who was trying to get careers when they were seeing that? Just like, nigga, you trying to be something? No, we gonna real. beat the shit out you. <laughs> that nigga smart. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I'm from, I grew up on the South Side and I used to have to fight South Side niggas like, mm. bro, I stay on Minnesota and Kid Cut. Leave me the fuck alone. Right, I'm trying to go to school, sir. But all my homies that I, I was on the block weed and shit like that, like that was like, no, he from over here. Man. He just go to career academy. Yeah, he just light skin, so yeah. they just used to pick on you. It's okay. Uh, we got about 30 minutes. Okay, good. Aw, yeah. 30 minutes. I'm just making sure I, I probably should reset that car, but I did. I'll make sure you got enough room. To, it's cool. I'll take uh, it about 115. What y'all talking about? The people. Just this on the Y'all talking about technical shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. we just running the show. You know? Mm-hmm. Ow. <laughs> Ow. 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 <laughs> but so when you were growing up, like what what kind of challenges did you face? Like, did you adhere to a lot of jealousy mm. being like um, OMG, because I'm almost certain that your personality today is the personality you've had for yeah many a moons. Yeah. I was the type of person where, like, I did not want nobody to be mad at me. I was mm-hmm. like... A pleaser. I'm like, everybody loves me. But my mama told me, like, before I got to high school, she was like... Everybody ain't gonna like them you. Them bitches not gonna like you. I'm like, everybody loves me. And what she like, mean? them bitches <laughs> not gonna like you. And I'm telling you now, mom, you're lying. Mm-hmm. Them bitches not gonna like you. <laughs> right. <laughs> and when I got to high school, them bitches did not like me. <laughs> but no, and to be honest, like... Because our middle school and high school was kind of like yeah central. And we went graduated together, so we all like come pretty, from Jefferson yeah. down. To yeah, so we it was no problem. I mean, of course, like I think I beat up some girl that stole my fucking Timberlands, like out my dirty fucking dance. Ass. Like, <laughs> you bitch, dirty Fuck ass. You whore. What I was her name? Remember what that. Was her I don't even remember that bitch name, but she had a fat ass forehead and she not, fucking stole. Not, my- <laughs> people with big foreheads normally do steal. <laughs> boom, but when I say she stole my fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> but no like but i kid you not i literally all my fights was like on the block like every hood that i where you grew, grow up at everywhere like i grew up in fucking in Baden. i grew up on the west side i grew up on the north side like i went to dumb i think i went to like six different elementary schools i've mm. been i grew up everywhere i went to school the in- j i grew up in a jvl like fucking Bretna, like everywhere like I literally grew up everywhere. One of my favoriteest people in St. Louis, Yo Bang is from is for real. Yeah, Yo Bang is one of my mentors. Shout out to him. Anytime I got something on my chest, where I'm finna fucking risk it all. I, is he I, still I, in Atlanta? Yo Bang is here. Oh shit! Are you talking about Tez Bang? That's who I'm thinking about. Okay, who but the yeah, fuck? Yo Bang is definitely. I gotta see his face. Yo Bang is definitely an inspiration straight out of JVL. Oh, that's what's up. To go from prison to working with the Urban League and young men and save our streets. I've heard that like name. That. Yeah. I just got to see his picture. Yeah. Um. I make sure you he he get in contact with you because. But yeah, I just I don't know. Bitch is gonna be mad. Who gives a fuck? What advice do you give fourteen year old Portia? Um, those voices in your head. Do not listen to them. Them the ones that keep you that that, that keep you on your compass. On no. Your square. Hell no. I have voices in my head that told me how to kill myself. Oh, no. Don't listen to them. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Don't listen to those voices because people are bullies. And then, like, social they media... They hate you because they hate you most of the time. Yeah, social media is so big nowadays. Like, we had social media... Like, we had, like, weak-ass computers growing up. But nowadays, like, people... We had MySpace. Man, we had some weak-ass shit. We was coders. What year did you graduate? We but were coders. 07. Shout out to 07. Period. St. But Louis Public School, 07. It's just, like, it's just... Calm down, children. <laughs> Ain't nobody else fought you old as fuck, Grandpa. <laughs> what was you? O three? O two. Okay, I was close. I was O three. Okay, come through. Right. He you was a senior when we were freshmen. That's it. Yeah. But no, like you just have to like the internet, like they will tell you some mean shit. People are mean as fuck. And and then what's so crazy is people are mean, but they're sensitive at the same time. Yeah. Like, people like I'm gonna to, say some shit to you, but you yeah, better not say nothing like to me because my throw feelings rocks don't be hurt. They hand. Like it's weird as fuck. But it's like I just I tell be like a killer and a victim. No, you can pick a side, my guy. <laughs> you can't be a victim and be out here. Yeah. Right. But, yeah. Like I I so I stay in Facebook jail. Um because <laughs> people will say shit to me. And then when you go off, yeah. you're in trouble. Motherfucker, I just did my last one because dude said, <laughs> did my last you a weak ass, <laughs> punk ass bitch. And I was like, I'm going to beat you the fuck up. <laughs> and you got blocked. <laughs> and I got a 30 day. But I got, I think in the last 18 months, I've been in Facebook jail for 15. Defending yourself. <laughs> 15 so months. what you have to do is you just have to block people. Yeah, I ain't going to do that. Yeah. Why? You just, if, if it's going to cause you fucking up your face, your promotion and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, that's all it is. I, fuck them trolls yeah just but, block them 
I'm a firm believer. Fuck them trolls. I say fuck them trolls. Let's talk about the trolls. Troll Gucci. Dude, my block list is longer than fucking Natural Bridge. Like, do not play with me. I believe you, too. I will block the fuck out of you. I remember one time, I think I had a sucker. I was sucking on, like, this blue sucker. I don't like this conversation. I don't either. No, listen, listen. I got a point. (laughs) So, my lips was blue. And this guy says something, like, on my page. I don't even know this nigga. He talking about some, yeah, it looks like I just busted blue nut in your mouth. <laughs> and we got to get away from this culture where niggas feel like they can say anything to females. I was so females. fucking mad. Who says that? Like, what? His lame what? bitch ass. <laughs> I blocked the fuck and out of him. And then when a nigga show up to say something to you about something you done said to his <laughs> gal, you gonna look like... It's a problem. <laughs> I want to get away from this culture where it make you a bitch to press a nigga about your female. Yeah. Because you shouldn't say nothing to me, nigga. I'll say what I want to your girl. Yeah. No, sir. You say something to my person, nigga. I'm going to come see you, Jack. Exactly. I you love don't you smell say. my cologne. <laughs> you say my person. That's so cute. Yeah, you say something to my person, nigga. You gonna, <laughs> I'm going to come see he you, in therapy. That's therapy. That's therapy I'm definitely in I therapy. Said, you yeah. are? That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I've been in therapy for about two years it's now. There's not a lot of black men in therapy. I don't give two that's fucks good. what they do. That's why I knew. I know, I know therapy ladies when I hear because I'm, yeah. I'm in therapy. No, I, that's good. That's why I avoid a lot of arguments, too. I'm lonely. Because I'll say Therapy is good. That's why I avoid a lot of arguments because when I get into it with somebody, I'll say, when you do this, I feel. Mm -hmm. And the nigga don't understand. That means I'm trying not to fuck you up. Yeah. So let's go ahead and separate this from this and I'm going to go about my day. No, therapy is good. I I definitely commend anybody going to therapy because I went to therapy. I'm still in therapy. But you have to go to therapy. Yeah. And a lot of us got untreated trauma. That's why. Definitely. That's why a lot of women are single and a lot of men put people through stuff and i also feel because our parents was like they was really just doing the best that they could and Absolutely. they was raising us with trauma. i didn't have parents so oh yeah I, my grandparents raised me so i think yeah. different so they was I they was like raised with was dealing with trauma and they were just going through the motions just raising us Absolutely. not knowing what the fuck but now it's we're at an age where we know what we have to do to heal ourselves and then for our kids and then their kids like it's like we headed in the right direction yeah we and, headed and it's in only right gonna direction. get better by yeah. the generation but it's also gonna get worse because a lot of people don't understand that healing is work healing mm-hmm. is putting in effort healing is time healing mm-hmm. is admitting that yes. I feel this way mm-hmm. that I'm hurt yeah. that I'm going through this that I'm like me and Marcus I'm, I I don't have a lot of friends. Mm-hmm. That's your only friend. I ain't gonna say my only, but like I I don't have a lot of friends. Mm-hmm. But I'll call Marcus and say, "Hey, bro, I'm having a really bad day." Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. he held my show for me for four months. Mm. Held my spot because in all honesty, like through it. my grandfather died. My uncle who raised me, who was like my father, died. Um, my auntie died. My dad died. My best one of my best friends committed suicide. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I went through it for about a year, like just going through it and, mm. and, and, and powering through it. I was going out every night, drinking, mm-hmm. trying not to feel trying nothing. Trying to cope. And yeah. yeah. And I had to sit down. I've been and, there. And, and, and just had to realize like, hey, being in this, this, this little space, first of all, going out every night is expensive as fuck. Yeah. And it don't help because when you get shit faced and you wake up from a fucking hangover and you still feel like shit mentally. And it's just like, what the fuck? I just fucking spent a hundred dollars or more. Well, I'm just saying, like, for me, of course, it's easy. Like, that's yeah. a lot for a fucking woman to go out. Because we can really walk into the motherfucking club and pay for Bro. a bitch ass thing. We right. can come home with some money. Like, and some chicken wings. And some chicken. <laughs> like, and some gas. Damn, I done paid for many chicken wing orders and motherfucking yeah. drinks one night. God, God damn it. Chicken plates <laughs> like that. Like, like the ass. That's your boy, but conversation. I done bought the motherfucking chicken wing with egg and cheese. And this bitch ain't giving me no ass. Yeah, nothing. Like, gotta got me again. If a bitch <laughs> wants to give you some pussy for some chicken chicken wings you don't want it that's horrible it's contaminated that is horrible who's giving pussy for chicken wings you'd be surprised yeah bitches do be giving shit hey look if you next time you go to the atm Uh uh-huh and that 40 dollars pop up look how wore out that button is (laughs) (laughs) oh my god look at how wore out that button is jack Fellas, I'm going to tell you if you finna get some pussy on your first trip. 
Man. If you go over her house and her TV is on the toe, you finna get some pussy. <laughs> oh, man. Shut the fuck what up. What part of the show is this? No, for real. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even I'm extremely that. honest. Fellas. So the sun's If she out. tell you to bring her mama a Bud Light and a pack of cigarettes, Fame. you finna get some pussy. <laughs> no. Why did she stay home with her mama? <laughs> and her mama stay with her grandma. All right, all right. Right, exactly. Get him, Marcus. <laughs> Just saying. You was a mess. I just, I watched nobody a lot, I watched knows. a lot of Law and Order too. Man, look, I watched a lot of. Order. But I, I want. I'm. Order. I do want to speak on this. Um, I have noticed lately on my news feeds and in and from like the websites and shit that these little girls are coming up missing. And a lot of the times when they find these little girls, or if they find these little girls, the last person they was in contact with was a grown ass man. So mm-hmm. you sick ass niggas. I don't care if you got to ask for ID. You know when a motherfucker ain't legal. It's all yours. Thank you. Yeah. You know when a motherfucker ain't. The shit is. Sick. Yeah, but the shit is terrible, bro. I still ride by. I stay right by McClure North, and I see these grown ass niggas beating. And I know you're not her daddy. Mm. I and also, I see y'all pulling up, picking them up. And I also feel like parents need to be more like involved. Because I feel like it's a lot of people, a lot of women that try to be their kids' friend and stuff like that. And that's like the that. problem. And they not checking, like, on their kids. Like, when my mom, like, my mom was very transparent with us. But she also didn't play no shit. Like, you finna go over what friend house? Okay, I need to talk to their mama. If the yeah. daddy there, I need to talk to their. I need to know the address, the license plate number on the car, where you getting picked up at. Like, it's like... And it's no excuse for this shit nowadays, because you find my iPhone. Yes, like, and, it's, and it's this too and much that. shit. Like, these people are like, oh, well, she gone with her little friend, like, and they just, oh, I'm finna go to the front. Don't come home for two, yeah. Exactly. Like, oh, she just, and then it's like, then all of a sudden you see that your child is missing, but it's like. I done seen a couple of my partner's daughters in, in Fahrenheit. Mm. It's just too much. And I'm like, look, girl, I, I'm not going to say nothing, but at the same time, like, yeah, I it's feel bad. Much. Uh, my daughter finna be 10 and mm. I be damned, but I was raised by my grandfathers mm. at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So I have different morals and principles. I believe yeah. a man's supposed to protect like yeah. that's. Well, I was raised by my mom and my grandma. So, yeah. but yeah, I didn't, I didn't raise, I wasn't raised with my dad. Yeah. You don't, you, we don't have a lot of, we don't have men leading anymore, mm-hmm. which is weird to me to see, to, to, I got a partner that I know is a great stepdad, but he a mm-hmm. shitty father. Really? Yeah. How is that possible? Cause so you take her to the next bitch who you with, but you don't take her your uh, your yeah, actual and, and, seat. and he not my partner. Yeah, he a bitch. Yeah, you a bitch, my dad. Yeah, a mark. I want to bring that word back. A mark. Bring Buster, back, bring back Coochie and Mark. <laughs> Coochie and Mark. Those are the mark two words. Buster. We gonna bring Buster back Buster, too because some of these niggas, yeah, they are Busters. I'm a some bust, of you niggas some Buster. Name and then, hey, I hit the mark. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. No, for real, Buster. Wow. Look at this Buster. You a mark ass Buster. <laughs> you a mark ass Buster going to get that whack ass coochie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, close the show up, man. Let me um, so, <laughs> Almost time left with that card. Uh, we we going to do about a minute apiece. We going to do uh, OGs versus IG. Yeah. OG um, versus IG? Yeah. What the fuck is that? So OGs versus IG is the segment I do where we address something. I'm going to put out a topic and we're going to address it from a standpoint of how you would handle it. Okay. So this week, we going to talk about your 14-year-old self, how you addressed... Um, how did you address being in love at 14? And how do you, how, how do you fix that now? <laughs> like, I'm not saying being in love. I mean, like, the, the toxicity at, at, at 14, 15, being in love. <laughs> he took his headphones off. <laughs> This is what he do. Why are you taking? Well, you're supposed to be talking about you, your 14-year-old self. Marcus, Marcus. what do you say to your 14-year-old in love self? I've been since 14. When nobody fucking no big nigga at 14. <laughs> I wasn't fucking. I am fucked. I was 21. So this had nothing to do with me. I ain't been in love yet. Aww. I just said I loved her. I, I love loved you, her for who she was. But like, I love you, bro. You I had no pussy. I couldn't leave. I love you, uh, bro. Damn. So I ain't fucking love that Why? kind of love. I love I you, Marcus. Don't be like that. We gonna get we gonna get Marcus a TT. Like Marcus, 
you can hold that. You know your Marcus a TT. Yeah, you can hold that love. Like, got, come on. I got plenty of, I need love I can taste. I need, yeah, <laughs> he, love, love, the coochie. The coochie yeah. love. I need coochie love. He need coochie I a, love. I have a lot of good women love any, me. I any love lovely this. women out there that wants to give Marcus some coochie love, hit my DM. We can set it up. Yeah, we can figure it out. Yeah, I, yeah. I, we gonna I, set it up. I got you. Because, no, I got some bitches that love big guys. Like love big niggas. We love big niggas. We love the big. I ain't for everybody. No, I'm not saying because I really I, my bitches are, no are high standard. Okay, what was I saying? Pull up. I'm high standard, and I love me up. a big guy. So Thin belly. What? How? <laughs> what would you say to 14 year old in love portion? Um, leave that nigga alone. He is not for you. Why the fuck are you going over to his mom house every fucking Sunday while he's in juvenile to have that fucking seven o'clock phone call? Bitch, get it together. That's what I would have fucking said to my 14 year old self because I was fucking with talking to this fucking boy. He was a fucking dope boy. He stole cars. That was he, my thing. He had me in my first solo. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I was so fucking That was scared. my thing. We used to take stole because in the wintertime, we would take <sighs> stolos from this area and drive to Roosevelt. It's a mess. But I loved him. Well, I thought I loved him because he was my first. He's my mm-hmm. first love, my first kiss, everything. Like, but no, he got fucking arrested. And he DJ was it. man. He was eleven months, and I was walking to his mom house on page, just boom, 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 just air, walking the fucking to going from West Pendleton to fucking Page and Vanda Vanda to fucking talk to. Set. You was a walking ass man, motherfucker. A walking motherfucking bitch at fourteen. Damn. I should have been walking no motherfucking. God damn! And then you walking by the track, man, just to fucking go get a, call, a phone call. Man, man, I missed out on. So, how do you like... address toxicity now? Um. Don't lie either. Run well. How do I address it now? Yeah, like how do you notice it? How do you address it? And and, and what are things that let you know this is? Toxic? I had to learn like for myself because I could. I know that I was. I came from a toxic relationship, so going into my new situation, it's like I knew that I started to be toxic. Like for example. My new dude was like out, like he kicking it, and he didn't answer the phone one time. So I'm texting, you must be with a bitch, and da-da-da. He was like, pause. First of all, I'm not one of these young ass niggas you used to dealing with. So you're not finna play with me. You're not finna talk to me like that. You're not finna disrespect me. So you need to check your tone and come to me correct. And, and I'm like a certain time where a man gets to that point. If he gets to that point. And I'm like, damn, I'm like, he straight checked me real quick. And turned you on a little bit too, And I'm just like, okay, let me double back. I'm like, I need to check that attitude at the door because this nigga not finna play with me. So I'm like, you know what? Let me chill out. So now if I feel myself kind of getting upset or if something bothers me, instead of me like lashing out and like, you know what? Like just going to my first instinct is to click and go off and cuss a motherfucker out. I just be like, you know what? I don't like the way you rephrased that. I don't like the way you said this to me. I'm upset. This made me or feel you, that way. This yeah. made me feel this type of way. And you need to check this at the door or whatever. And we'll talk about it later or whatever. Or can we talk about it now? Like now I literally present like, you hey, present a conversation yeah, instead like, of an can argument. we talk about it? Because I'm upset right now and I'm feeling some type of way instead of me going off. Because I used to go off like just like it was nobody's business. But to be honest, I got it from my mama. My mama, a lot of a lot of females, man, too. and my mama toxic as fuck. I love a her lot of these niggas Shout get their attitude mama. from their mamas too. But man, my mama was she's still toxic. I'm it's, talking about a lot of these niggas get their attitude from their yes, mama too, cause they bitches. Yeah, <laughs> it's just Mark like, ass it's, bitch. It's too much. The coochie ass bitch. Like <laughs> I can't deal with it. But it's just like now, I as I'm getting older, I'm tired of. Yelling, I'm tired of raising my voice. I'm tired of fucking repeating myself. Cause nigga, you heard me the first time. He definitely did. Nigga, y'all heard me the first but time. But the nigga gonna try it the second time just to see if he can get away with it. Like, and you're not finna play with me. That's why the I checked third that time, shit at the door. If he really wants you, he gonna he gonna uh, address it the third time. But the first time, <laughs> I'm gonna act like I ain't heard it. The second time, nah, I'm gonna let you know I heard it. Exactly. And I'm a, And if I like you, then I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it won't be a third But no, time. you just gotta. But it's definitely gonna be a second time. It's just time. all about communication. You don't always got to talk with your hands, talk with your voice. Like, it's okay to have a conversation. I can, do, I, I, even if y'all in the same house, I, I tell people with my friends that go through with their girlfriends, wives, side bitches, all of that shit. I tell them like, bro, if you can, if you feel like you're going to raise your temper, if you feel like it's going to be a problem, mm-hmm. try texting or go in another room and text the conversation instead of, you know what I'm saying? Because it's easier than yelling. Um, other tips I give my partners. 
when when they into it with a female, lower your voice down mm-hmm. to a, 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 yeah. a, a high whisper. That's all and, you got to do. And, and say, just hey, talk. I, I want to have this conversation mm-hmm. with you, but I'm not going to let it be an argument. Yep. Just talk. Like, look, I just want to talk to you. Can we have the conversation? Something upset me. Yeah. Or I, I feel I a way feel about this. When you did this, I felt mm-hmm. this way. And I tell my partners yeah. to use that all the time. And if you, a lot of the times, when it comes to females, unless you got a mark ass bitch, um, <laughs> who, who you, yeah. get fucking coochie. <laughs> yeah. Coochie is $40. The forty dollar coochie from the Mark ass <laughs> nigga. Yeah. Coochie is forty dollars. Um, but <sighs> if you can address the situation from a calmer standpoint, a lot of the times, as a man, you should be able to to, to control the situation. Mm-hmm. Your female wants you to lead. Exactly. She wants you to. Exactly. You, if you don't give her a reason to lead, exactly. then she's not gonna follow. We're gonna run all over you. Yeah. Because nine times out of ten, these niggas these days want to be bad bitches. They I'm going to just put it out there. They want to be bad bitches. They wear bitches. leggings and more purses and everything. They want to walk in the club and not have to pay for shit. They want to be in the section smoking hookah while the bitch is really rolling weed. Like, them niggas want to be bad bitches. The like, bitches definitely buy more wanna, weed than niggas These do. niggas want to be flued out. Like, all type of shit. Like, niggas straight want to be bad bitches now. And it's so fucking weird. Like, it's no dudes. Like, you straight got to weed out the real niggas. Like, it's so fucking hard. Like, where is the niggas at? Where's the real niggas what at? What time is this? <laughs> it's all over. Man, you should see the niggas in fur hype with their purses. <laughs> like, come on now. They wear leggings and purses now, they bro. They like with their hookah. But damn, they got heels on. And then they post and they look um, on the Instagram. Bro, you I, went to the bo- I went to the Boosie <laughs> concert a couple months ago at fur and hype. And niggas was put, like, you remember we had red on. Yeah. My partner, Big Red. Yeah. He a bouncer. And... You you won't believe it. Niggas is pushing bitches out the way when celebrities Man, come to fur. That's high. how they do. Wow. I've learned. I've seen that first, like with well, my own weird. fucking eyes. When yeah. I started getting like into party promotions, these niggas you used would to promote be, with Phil, right? Yeah. Shout out to Phil. Shout out to Phil. I love him. My nigga home. Phil. Gucci Gordy. That's my nigga. That's like the dad I never had. Feel a real nigga. A real, <laughs> but real yeah, nigga. like them niggas used to be pushing bitches out the way. They want to take the pictures and like, come on now. I remember. You want to go to the hotel with them. I know you do. Yeah. That's nasty. A lot of these niggas, <laughs> a lot of these niggas, he is coochie. Yeah. They is coochie. I'm my word, man. I'm trying to bring it back. <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> these niggas is coochie. <laughs> these niggas. <laughs> these niggas is some mark ass coochies. Buster. <laughs> you buster. You a mark ass coochie. <laughs> <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen this is collectively speaking and we damn sure had a good show this week period I'd like to thank my big brother Marcus and I'd like to Get thank my goddamn buttons hold on nigga hold on come on big sexy Marcus hey give me two more pick hey. a, pick a color. come on Eddie, come back I'm back okay <laughs> you're done <laughs> You're done. <laughs> yeah. And to this lovely lady on my left hand side, the first woman to ever uh, feature on our show. Period. Miss OMG, I'd like to thank you for coming out and Aww, kicking it with me for a little guys. bit of time. I love you guys. We had so much fun. Now, I'm finna drink and do drugs. Y'all have a great day. Me too. I'm gonna be right here with y'all.